Hello everybody, this is Philip from Westpark Fitness and today I'm going to show you a quick workout you can do at home using a pair of dumbbells. So, uh, we're going to do 5 exercises and all of them are going to be supersets. Which means we're going to do 2 exercises in a row and then we're going to take a rest. So, before we start make sure you have your my zones on, get those maps and here we go. First 2 exercises are going to be uh, 20 lunges into 10 deadlifts, right? Get your dumbbells, get ready, here we go, 20 lunges, 10 deadlifts. Make sure your chest is up, back straight, focus on those legs, here we go. Last one, now immediately 10 deadlifts, both hip width apart, again chest up, back straight, here we go. There we go, now we take a rest. Remember to drink plenty of water. We're gonna do two more sets of these. So all together, three sets. A bit of rest. Catch your breath. Again, I say this all the time, breathing is so important. So really, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Deep, deep, deep breaths. All right, I think I'm ready for set number two. Here we go. Same thing, 20 lunges, 10 deadlifts. One, ten deadlifts. Here we go, one more. And if you need any kind of motivation, play some music in the background. That's, that's why I don't play my own, so you can play whatever you want. But yeah, highly recommend music. Stretch those legs, shake them off a little bit. Right, if 
for ready. Here we go, last set. Twenty lunges, ten deadlifts. Last set. Here we go. Deadlifts. There we go. That's legs done. Now, next exercise is gonna be dumbbell rows into a press up. So we're aiming for about 12, 12 rows, 12 press ups. And we're gonna do two sets of them. Right? Think I'm ready? Grab your dumbbells. We're in a like a deadlift position, so about hip width apart. We're gonna bend over a little bit, kettlebells in front, and here we go, squeeze the shoulder blades together, 12 rows. That's 12. Now immediately, into 12 press ups. Here we go. There we go, first set done. We're only gonna do one more, because the rest of the exercise is pretty much upper body focused. So we're not gonna go too much in detail. And again, take as much rest if you, as you need. If it's 30 seconds, a minute, two minutes, Whatever you need, catch your breath, fully recover. All right, we're about halfway into the workout. Hope you're having fun. All right, I think I'm ready for the last set. Here we go. Same thing, 12 rows, 12 press ups.
And now, press ups. There we go. Now, we're gonna do a superset for chest. We're gonna do about nine to 12 flies into nine to 12 uh, dumbbell presses. We're gonna do that on the ground. So try to have a yoga mat or something like that to keep your back comfortable. Dumbbells ready on the ground. I'm gonna go down. Grab the dumbbells. You can have your knees up. Dumbbells, we're gonna have them above the head and we're gonna do flies. 9 to 12 flies into 9 to 12 presses. Here we go. Presses. That's it. Now a bit of rest. And we're gonna do it one more time. Again, drink plenty of water, everybody. This one is a pretty tough, tough superset for the chest, so adjust your weight accordingly, okay? Flies are a bit tougher than, than presses. So try to find, uh, find the middle ground there. All right, we're gonna do this one more time, then on to the next one. Right. So, same thing. 9 to 12 flies into 9 to 12 presses. Grab the dumbbells, flat on the ground, knees up, focus on that chest. Here we go. into presses. Here we go. Ooh. 
That's it. Even those small little dumbbells get tough after a while. Right, next one, we're gonna do a fun one. We're gonna do bicep, bicep curls into overhead tricep extensions. Same thing, twice, nine to 12. Right, I think I'm ready to go. So again, bicep curls into overhead tricep extensions. Here we go. When you're done with the bicep, one dumbbell on the side, grab the other one over the head, chest up, back straight, and focus on that tricep. Here we go. Now the tricep one is a bit easier than the bicep, so you can do a bit more for them. As long as you feel that burn, just keep going. Right, one more time. Same thing. Right, and you may notice for the bicep, I'm not doing a straight curl or a hammer. I'm kind of rotating as I go. Really activates the whole bicep. And for the tricep, you don't have to go overhead. You can do from the side back. Whatever feels comfortable. Right, I'm ready for the next one. Last one for the bicep and tricep, here we go. Bicep curls. And make sure to really, really focus on that bicep. Only move from the elbow, everything else stationary. Here we go. And now, triceps, here we go. From the side to the back. Squeeze that tricep. Now, next up, last exercise, we're gonna do a bit of shoulders, okay? So, those require a little less weight, so make sure to remove a plate. Or if you have lighter dumbbells, 
rev lighter ones. Put those on the side. Here we go. Last exercise is going to be shoulders. So again, we're about hip width apart. We're gonna go side raise. We're gonna bring it forward. We're gonna go down from here. Gonna bring it up. Gonna go side down. We're gonna try to go six on each side, okay? Here we go. That's it. They're pretty tough. Pretty, pretty tough. And your body will want to shrug. So make sure, keep that chest up, keep that back straight. I'm gonna do it one last time. Side view. Right, here we go. So again, chest up, back straight. Keep those shoulders down. Don't let them go up. Here we go. Side, front, down, then front, side, down. Controlled movements. Nice and easy. And last two. Right. After this, make sure to stretch, okay? Yeah, drink plenty of water. Take care, people. I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.